Kyle. What I have done, however it will turn out in the end, will give the mother a better answer to what she's looking for than any research I could have been losing time working on. You see, as a famous ethnographer, I came to Haran on the invitation of the local colonel's wife. The colonel, the mother. These were words spoken around here with utmost respect. Yet for me, after a while, they became just Amir and Jasmine. A happy marriage, if there ever was one. And it was at his request that I stayed behind when all hell broke loose. I was here when he came back to evacuate her. I watched as he got bitten, and when he asked me to stay, I did as he asked. I thought he'd want me to end his suffering. But that wasn't the case. He gave me something that I was supposed to pass to her, only if her state of mind after this tragedy didn't raise my concern. But I never saw her again. I felt rejected. I felt abandoned, and now that I'm about to die, I can't keep the promise. She still won't agree to see me. But you, you're different, Kyle. You have a chance to meet her. There is no other option for me. I have to leave what the Colonel gave me in your hands, Kyle. I know that when the time comes, you will make the right decision. Remember this code, please. 2519-8603. I apologize for any wrongs I have done, and I beg for your forgiveness. Attila H. What the fuck have you done? Hey, it's Kyle Crane. I'm at Attila's house. What's Attila's condition, Crane? Speak. He slit his own throat. He put the mask on and killed himself. Mask? What mask? An old red mask I found at the Temple of the Sun. <sighs> that old fool used you, Crane. What? what? How? To find this mask. We know all about it. That wasn't his task, Crane. Attila was deadly sick. There was a cancer eating his brain. He must have become convinced that if he put this mask on and slit his throat, the God of the Sun would manifest and possess his body. But why? Why, why would he get that in his head? And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. Attila interpreted that to mean suicide, an error that cost him his life. Take the mask, and try to find the book Attila was writing for us. Take them to Jasir, and we'll take care of the rest.
after this shit ends. No, I meant the outbreak. The outbreak. Hey, you! Jazir, please don't ask any questions. Just hand this stuff to the Acolytes when you have a chance. Okay, it's very imp important to the Mother, I know. They told me already. I'll tell them I have it.
Come and listen to my story, mister. Yeah, I'm all ears. It's a beautiful story about pride, prejudice, war, and peace. It starts in the olden days when people still were honest and true. And there were you know, Mr. Crane, isn't it? You're really something, you know that. Never seen a man earn the trust of the children as fast as you did. They've kept an understandably low profile ever since the government banned all illegal religious sects in our country. Banned? Why? There was a massacre 50 years ago. It was chaos after that. We had to act fast, and we had no idea what should be done. It was in politics back then, but not corrupt, not corrupt. I voted against the madness, but nobody listened. They laughed at me, blamed the children, but I knew they were wrong. My mother grew up here and never had a bad word to say about the children. After I lost everything, I came to this place and helped them start a preservation society of sorts. They kept their rituals a secret, didn't accept anyone from the outside. And for a long time I felt betrayed, Mr. Crane. I helped them survive, and they shut their doors to me. How could they? They didn't accept you into the, uh, the group? No. I'm sure you can imagine how betrayed I felt. But now, now that the government has failed to protect its people, the children have reappeared stronger than ever before. And after all those years, they didn't forget about me, Mr. Crane. I'm well fed, clothed, and safe. They provide me with everything I might need. I wish I could say all's well that ends well, I just hope we all live long enough to see the end of this madness. <laughs> <laughs> 